Listen, thank you all for coming out and, and being with us today. It's a uh, good morning to be in the American Legion Hall. Um, you know, if the events at Fort Hood over the last week have taught us anything, it's about the fragility of life, uh, the, the importance of making the most out of uh, the time that we've been given here on this earth. For entirely too many Texas veterans awaiting a response from the Department of Veteran Affairs uh, has not been, uh, I think, a good use of their time. Um, it's taken too long. So what we're doing is working together to fix that. Uh, one key contributor to the problem is the backlog of claims um, that are manifesting themselves at the, at the Veterans Administration. The VA must make a decision on these claims before veterans uh, can receive their benefits, like medical care uh, at the VA hospitals or disability compensation. Um, and, and a decision has to be made before the vet can appeal some of the VA's decisions as well. So, and, and this is a national issue. Uh, but Texas veterans are among the hardest hit with more than 39,000 applicants pending uh, in our state's two regional VA offices. Um, I'm very disturbed by the fact that 41% of the claims at the Houston Regional Office have been pending for more than four months. Now, to veterans and their families, uh, that can mean nearly a half a year of untreated pain, of unpaid bills, uh, unresolved anxiety about the future. You know, our veterans have fought bravely in faraway lands. They shouldn't have to come home and do battle with their own government. Now, I recognize this is a federal problem. Uh, but Texas can just no longer sit idly by and, uh, you know, hoping things get better. Um, with that in mind, I have directed the Texas Veterans Commission to help our veterans cut through this red tape by reducing the burden on the VA with the creation of a claims processing assistance team. Uh, it's going to be funded through the governor's office. Um, through this team, these TVC counselors will streamline and hopefully accelerate uh, the claims process by identifying applications that are complete, ready to be uh, expedited uh, by the VA and helping obtain any missing uh, information that, that may be necessary as well. By making these claims more uh, easily available, properly prepared as well, uh, making sure the applications are complete, this team will not only reduce the likelihood of applications uh, enduring uh, extra lengthy uh, appeals processes, but it'll also minimize uh, the need for any protracted hearings. Uh, this team can also cut red tape by identifying uh, lower priorities, but time-consuming claims uh, for expedited handling. By presenting these claims that are more accurate and complete, this team will make the VA's job easier, and it'll also cut down, I think, substantially on the time that's needed to process those claims. And this, this isn't just all new ground either. Uh, the Texas VA Commission uh, has already helped reduce delays associated with the federal uh, paperwork. Uh, we've been working with the VA on a pilot program since last year. Uh, the TBC slashed claims processing time by an average of 120 days. So there's some real proof here that what we're, the, the assistance that we're offering uh, is working. And you know, we're not going to be in the way. We're going to be a partner uh, to help this type of uh, paperwork processing get taken care of. As, as a matter of fact, this innovative practice 
uh, is now being touted as best practices uh, at the VA regional offices nationwide. Um, so while these folks uh, are working um, with the VA, they're going to remain Texas Veteran Commission employees. Uh, the team will require minimal VA uh, involvement. And obviously, we'll be counting on the VA's uh, cooperation uh, because what we're doing is just offering them a helping hand to help expedite the paperwork for our veterans. And it's that spirit of cooperation uh, we hope the VA uh, will provide our team a little working space uh, at the Houston Regional Office and uh, for the timely action that uh, uh, these teams are going to be performing. Uh, to get the program up and running uh, through the 2010 fiscal year, uh, my office is going to be providing a grant uh, of nearly $400,000. Uh, these funds will allow the TVC to hire up to 12 full-time employees. And I happen to think this is money well spent. Um, it helps Texas, and for that matter, it helps the United States fulfill its moral duty to our service members by ensuring that their benefits are being received in a timely manner. Uh, it's the least we can do for men and women who have risked their lives for our freedom.